When cross-country skiing, there are many times when we need to slow down, particularly as we go downhill and around corners. If you are in the tracks, you can use a half plow to reduce your speed. Often skiers don't put enough weight on the angled ski and this results in little braking action. The key to really slowing down is to put some pressure on the ski out of the tracks as I am demonstrating here. Once you have slowed down sufficiently, you can put your angled ski back in the track. If you want to slow down from a full snowplow position, simply widen the plow by pushing out on your heels. Once you have comfortably slowed down, you can bring your skis parallel again. You can also use snowplow turns to slow yourself down. Simply turn back and forth as you descend a hill and this will reduce your speed. It helps to weight the outside ski, so sometimes I ask skiers to touch the outside knee as they make a turn, as I am illustrating in this example. Another situation where you often need to control your speed is when you go around downhill corners. If you are traveling faster, you can use a skidded turn to reduce your speed, as I am demonstrating in this case. All too often skiers move their way to the uphill ski, and then the turning action is harder to control, as I am showing here. The key is to get your way to the outside ski, and a good way to accomplish this is to touch the outside knee, as you can see me doing in this case. In all of these examples, you want to be slightly flexed at the ankles, knees, and hips, and hold your arms out for balance. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.